Sliders, or as I like to call them, interactable ghost towns, are common in websites, especially ones built with WordPress. But if they're so common, they have to be a good thing, right? Well, to get to the point, sliders are shit, and you shouldn't be using them, and for multiple reasons. But first, why are people using them? What are they good for? I've come up with two encapsulating reasons why people would want to use a slider. The first reason why people would want to use sliders and carousels on their website is because they look pretty. Which sure enough, they can be, if done correctly. Another reason why I think people use sliders is that people feel scrolling is scary, so they seem to fit their website's content into a slider to take up less space. Which is of course ironic because sliders sort of fundamentally operate on scrolling, which is the very thing they're trying to reduce. I think these two reasons encapsulate most of the other reasons why people would want to use a slider. For example, someone's reason for using a slider could be to promote important content and announcements. Well, that's just trying to save space. Or show off compelling mission-related visuals and establish a personality or aesthetic for a site. That's just trying to make your website prettier. Now, why sliders are bad. First, let's talk about the theory about why sliders aren't good and then later explore the stats behind sliders that prove they make for bad web design. As pretty as they are, sliders hurt more than they help websites. The first reason why sliders are bad is that you can't count on someone to scroll through or interact with your slider. People just don't do it. And we'll back this up later. You have to remember that time is precious when people are on a website. Visitors bounce off websites at a high rate, they usually skim over text instead of reading all of it, and the first 10 seconds are critical to know if they're going to stay or not. And so, when you put your content into a slider, that's a barrier to entry. That's you making it harder and more time consuming for a user to get at the content of your website. The next reason why sliders are the spawn of Satan is that people often have something called banner blindness, especially with image sliders. With banner blindness, because people are so used to seeing ads and large banners on websites, users ignore and scroll past them. So if your slider looks roughly like a banner, or even an ad, there's a good chance that people are unconsciously scrolling right past. Next, sliders often take control away from users. Not only people use sliders and make their websites worse, but they take this further by making them auto-playing. The problem with auto-playing sliders is that they're so fucking annoying. Users should have complete control of their website. Nothing should be moving around or changing. Websites aren't a slideshow presentation, so stop treating them like one. Another reason why sliders suck is that they tend to slow down your website, particularly with WordPress websites. With WordPress websites, it's so easy to add in sliders with one click of a button using plugins. Two plugins in particular, Slider Revolution and Smart Slider 3, have big negative impacts on the speed of your website. I ran a speed test on a WordPress website having Slider Revolution activated and deactivated. After having Slider Revolution activated, the speed audit score jumped by 10 points and increased the speed index by 1.7 seconds. With Smart Slider 3, activating it had no impact, but when you put the slider in on the page, it impacted the score by 20 on mobile and 3 on desktop, and increased the speed index by 1.4 seconds. So those are two good and four bad reasons to use a slider, but what's the data behind it? I have seven studies to back up how ineffective sliders really are. I will talk about three of them, but all seven will be available in the description. The first study was by Eric Runyon at Notre Dame University. This test was to measure the distribution of clicks of the different slides in a slider. It showed that the first slide had the overwhelmingly majority of the clicks and conversions. He reviewed five sites. The first site had 84% of the clicks with slide one, and the others having around 4% of the clicks. His other four sites showed that 48 to 62% of the total clicks in the slider were from the first slide, 
and the rest of the clicks evenly distributed among the rest of the other slides. The second study was by Conversionista, a conversion rate optimization firm in Sweden. This test was to measure the difference in clicks for an image carousel versus a static image. They ran heat map testing and used eye tracking technology and also measured all the clicks for the static image versus the image carousel. The results showed that users seem to avoid the slider and not click on it, which is most likely due to banner blindness. It also showed that the static image was clicked 40% of the time, while the image slider was clicked 2% of the time. The last study I will mention is by Blair Keane, an Adobe Optimization Manager. His study was to show the difference in conversions between having a slider and not having one at all. He found that when he removed the slider that was placed above the fold on his e-commerce website, that it led to an increase of 23% in sales. So what does this all mean? It means three things. When it comes to sliders, the first slide will always outperform the other slides. And the other slides will usually have an around equal CTR or click-through rate. Static images will always outperform sliders and sliders are sometimes seen as banners which may cause banner blindness. And lastly, even just having the slider on your website in the above the fold section decreases conversions and sales. Though you can predict the same effect if you placed a slider anywhere on your website. But there's good news, I can show you step by step how to make a slider more effective. So here's our slider. Notice it's pretty and doesn't take up much space. First, you wanna make sure that it doesn't autoplay because autoplaying takes control away from users and it's really frustrating. Next, remove all the slides but the first one. There's no point in having any more than one because people aren't gonna be looking at them. Then you'll want to remove the navigation arrows. We only have one slide so we won't need those. Lastly, just remove the navigation bullets. And there you go, you have a better slider. In conclusion, sliders shouldn't be used. The only time that they should be used is for product images on a product page. Other than that, sliders statistically don't get interacted with. Not many people care enough to spend time clicking through your pretty PowerPoint presentation. If the design of your website requires you to use a slider, then your design has failed. Deactivate your 18 slider plugins, unlink your owl.js file, and stop using fucking sliders.